A volcano burst from Rwanda, registration number RAD798B, and the oxygen burst registration number KCU054L were this morning involved in a head-on collision that left six people dead and several injured. The accident that happened in the wee hours of Friday morning, according to preliminary results by police, is said to have been triggered by a mist that led to visibility issues. According to preliminary investigations, uh, the accident was caused by, by a lot of fog that could not allow the two drivers to see properly what was ahead, uh, so they ended up having a head-on collusion. According to police, the accident claimed six lives, among who included the conductor of the oxygen bus, David Omedo, and the driver of the same bus, identified as Alphonse Murara. Six people died on the spot after the hydron collision, and uh, 30, 30 people were injured. And of the six that are dead, uh, two of them are, are the drivers of the buses. The others that perished in the accident include Jakod Gakuru, the bus driver of the Volcano bus, Hakizimana Etienne and Ishinjiro Mustafa, all passengers of the same bus. The bodies of other victims are yet to be identified. Survivors of the accident narrated how the accident happened. It was a big shock. The two buses, one... Uh, uh, our bus, Oxygen One, got a shock from the other bus, which was from Kampala. Uh, then uh, we began to cry, everybody was crying. Passengers who sustained both minor and serious injuries were rushed to Rutoma Medical Center in Mohanga Town Council, Rukiga District, while others were admitted at Kabale Regional Referral Hospital. <laughs> The in charge of Rotoma Medical Center, Dr. Brian Biarhanga, says the facility is doing its best to ensure that all victims get out of danger. But we received 40 patients, 40 people who came. Um, six of them were in severe critical condition. They had severe head injuries. Some we rushed them to cover the regional referral hospital. There was an emergency response team from cover which came and picked them. Otherwise, the rest of the members were stabilized. For those who needed IV foods, we put IV foods. Those who needed uh, surgical toileting, we did. And uh, the situation is now clear. We have given painkillers to everyone who is here. Yeah, the situation is clear, sure. Ray's regional police spokesperson, Samson Kasasira, who confirmed the incident, says police has already started investigations into the cause of the accident. By press time, all bodies of the deceased had been transferred to Itogo Hospital in Ntungamu District for post-mortem. Story compiled by Job Niwamanya for UBC.